every seven fucking beers. Well, you're setting a great example for the kids, Peter. Yeah, a new family record. Way to raise the bar, Dad. Chris, you're 13. Don't talk like that. Idiot. Now, kids, Daddy only drank so the Statue of Liberty would take her clothes off. Peter, what did you promise me? I wouldn't drink at the stag party. And what did you do? Drank at the stag party. Oh, oh, oh I walked right into that one. <laughs> oh, God. Feels like there's accountants cranking ad machines in my head. You ever wonder what's outside those walls? Say now, that's dangerous thinking, Paul. You best stick to your work. <laughs> okay. You see, Peter, a hangover is nature's way of telling you I was wrong. Uh, Mom, are you all right? My goodness, this chair leg was loose. Isn't that silly? I could have broke my leg. Damn. All right, I'm going to work. Somebody's got to put food on this table. Food on this table. <laughs> lie to her. It's okay to lie to women. They're not people like us. Uh, I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Lie to her. Come on, you bastard. I'm late for work. I didn't have gas for the first time until I was 30. What the Lois. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. I have nothing to say to you, Peter. Welfare fraud doesn't even matter. Really? Well, let's hope the judge feels that way. This court will come to order. Well, you know, I figured the sooner I cast a check, the sooner they uh, catch their mistake. <laughs> Look, why are we making a federal case out of this? Mr. Griffin. Don't you think you should have alerted the government of such a gross overpayment? Well, uh, I, I was gonna call him, but uh, my, my favorite episode in Strokes was on. You know the one where Arnold and Dudley get the bike shop? And everybody learns a valuable lesson. Mr. Griffin, have you learned a lesson? Oh, yeah, stay the hell away from that bike shop. Bullshit. <sighs> Look, uh, everybody, I feel really bad about what I did. I, I just, I don't know, I just saw the one chance I'd ever have to give my family... Things we never I guess I screwed it up. I cheated the government, and worst of all, I lied to my wife. And she deserves better. I'm sorry, honey. Mr. Griffin, I think your words have touched us all. I'm sentencing you to 24 months in prison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah!